everyone talking about Declaration by Cartier. This is about the original one, uh, not the more recent Parfum. I think this one I read came out in the late 90s. The notes in it are birchwood, bergamot, bitter orange, juniper wood, artemisia, cardamom, cold spices, probably like cardamom twice, <laughs> oak, cedar, and vetiver. High quality, classy, very mature leaning at this point at least, masculine scent with kind of very strong aromatics, spice and vetiver. And when I say mature leaning at this point, like it does smell a bit dated to me, but I don't think it smells bad. And it's not like I think it inherently smells like so mature leaning or something. I just think that for the modern trends and kind of what's considered to be standard these days that this would come across smelling a bit dated. But if you like it, you should totally still wear it. And if you wear something with confidence like this, I think that it'll come across fine and you probably won't, yeah, have to worry as much about being dated. Because especially it's not like it smells bad or something. Bad plus dated, that's a really not good combination. But just more of an old school scent profile. And not just like from the 90s. Weird to think that that was like the 25 years ago this came out, I guess. But not just in a 90s way of like, oh, it's older because of that. Because the 90s was more about, I think, like fresh and clean sort of stuff. This, to me, smells more vintage and like older than that. If you like classic gentleman sort of scents that give that kind of vibe, the price to quality ratio of this is very good. I will link in the description where you can get a sample or decant. For a bottle, just check Google. Uh, I tried to kind of look for it, and it, it sold a lot of places. But I, was, I wanted to just <laughs> make this quickly and get the description for it. And there were so many that I was like, wait, is that really the right one? Or is that the Parfum version? So you can find it and just find the best price that works for you if you end up liking it and you wanna get a bottle. Good longevity, moderate projection, definitely leans very masculine. I think that you can get a bottle for like under a hundred bucks. So yeah, very good quality. I think if you're a fan of like, you know, a lot of Clive Christian's masculine fragrances, this might be a good one to try if you haven't. And I think this is just kind of considered a classic. So maybe if you're just like really hardcore into fragrance like me, where you just like to be aware of stuff that's talked about and kind of get your nose on it. Yeah, um, I will link in the description. Yeah, where you can get a sample and Google it if you want a bottle.